Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Another Saturday night and I ain't got nobody. I got some money cause I just got paid. Oh, how I wish I had someone to talk to. I'm in an awful way. Ba -na 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 -na. For S A T U R D A Y. Night. S A T U R D A Y. Night. Saturday in the park. I think it was the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days. Thursday, Friday, happy days. Saturday, what a day. Grooving, we can start something. Grooving all week with you. These happy days are yours and mine. These happy days. All right, you guys. Hey, welcome to Bell's Bargains. So, I was like, it's Saturday. It's holla for your dollar haul. Huh? So excited that it's Saturday. Okay, Kiwi, you're out of the drawer. Now, let's just behave today. Kiwi. Anyway, guys, I am here to do day number six of my seven straight days of Dollar Tree hauls. All right. I have to do the spiel. If you're new to the channel, you should know that everything on my channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because Dollar Tree number one is amazing. The stuff that you find there, the deals, the hunt, it's so much fun. So, Effingham, let's tell them why do I only go to the Dollar Tree? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a... And a quarter. That's right, Effingham. Thank you very much. Hello, Effingham. I, I'm i excited. It's the weekend, too. See, the weekend, Effingham gets mommy and daddy all weekend long. And you're not here babysitting the cats during the day. I know. I know. All right, guys. So, okay, Effingham. We've got enough. So, I am just, I'm so excited because I have the remainder of my haul in front of me. Now, I got to be honest. I went, I cannot see out of these glasses right now. I went to um, Minnesota. I've done all the, the stuff that I hauled from Minnesota has been and, and some stuff from here the last five days. This is all stuff from my home state of Arizona. In particular, a store on Power and Maine. So anybody that lives out here in Arizona, you might know where Power and Maine is. Oh, um, I had a subscriber, Kathy. She used to go to that store. Anyway, never matter. But all right, so I just wanted to do that because I'm going to shout out some employees at this store. They're so nice and they're so amazing. And this store, for some reason, seems to get dropped like everything. It's in, okay, so it's not in the highest dollared neighborhood. And it's not a particularly um, pretty storefront. It's always got one door busted. Somebody drove through one door. One Anyway, I mean, but for some reason, maybe because I shop there. <laughs> the numbers are good. Anyway, they seem to get literally everything. And so I go at least once a week to this particular store. Now I go to other stores too, of course, but this one is my favorite store. And actually it was my friend, Nancy, was the one that's like the one on power in Maine. Then when I started working full time with Marcus, it was literally next to the, to the bank where we have to do a bank drop from the, from work every day. So I was like, Hmm, Hmm, Hmm. Maybe that was meant to be. I don't know. <laughs> so poor Marcus has sat in that parking lot a lot. Okay. So let's dive in. I'm so excited about some of the stuff here. So th this haul, going to have to find the receipt. It's in here somewhere. Here it is. You guys, just don't, everybody sit still. Don't be upset. This haul, the subtotal was $187.50. Look at this receipt. $187.50. Literally went and got this, um, Two days ago, okay? 187.50. Now, that being said, you guys do understand that I do most of my grocery shopping at the Dollar Tree. 
So there's that, right? Like I buy most of my groceries at the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna talk about that first, actually. But I have one thing to show you that failed to be shown on my last haul. It was still in the bag and it was like actually my favorite thing from the from the haul and it, I had two things and, and then I forgot about it. Like I put it right there early on in the video and I forgot about it. So I'm like, ah, it's still here when I went to put everything away. So I'm gonna show you guys. So this is actually from Minnesota and these are so cute. They have Smarties in them, okay. I don't really care about Smarties, but I just care about the tins. So I'm gonna open, and I just love the color choices here. And I'm trying to decide like maybe, I have some uh, signs, like it would be cute to put the three of them on this, right? Okay, but let's open one up. I'll show you that in a minute. <clears throat> let's open one of these up. Cause so I didn't buy them obviously for the candy. I could care less. I bought them just for the tins. These are so cool. I've never thought I would be a Day of the Dead person, never. But it's that whole pirate thing. Okay, so you get four, oh shoot, dropping them. Four packages of Smarties in there, okay? I mean, that, that, that's sense. But this is what's so cool, is these. So you could take them apart and have a much shallower thing to use, like on signs or something. Why didn't I buy more? That would have been a good idea. Dang it, Amy. Ugh. Okay, well, whatever, I didn't. Um, so if I see them again, I will, because I just absolutely love these. And for me, they can be year-round decoration outside in my pirate-themed backyard, right? So, okay, so I forgot to show you those from the last one, and I was just super excited when I found them. It was in a Minnesota store, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I love those. So Halloween candy area, I think, is where you would find those if you found them. I have to keep my receipt out so I can put this in my thumbnail. This, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so let's start with this haul. First of all, I update on kitties and the mouse tail, which you guys heard the other day. And you guys seem to like my kitty tails. So this morning, wait, I don't need Google. My husband knows everything. That is true. <laughs> like, one's like, how do you know that? But sometimes it's BS, but he tells it so well you believe him. So, <clears throat> um, so Friday, who brought in the live mouse on Thursday? Oh, Boji wants in. I got that kitty in. They're all in, safe and sound. No live animals or gifts with him. So when he brought in the live mouse on Thursday, yeah. On Thursday, we were like, okay, so now we have to make it so he can't break into the catio, which means retraining Friday just a little bit, because Friday... Friday knows if I really want to, I can stay out a little bit longer because I can break into the catio. So he won't always come when we come calling with the wet food. And he's really fast, so don't worry about him as much. Fatso, on the other hand, Boji, he, he couldn't run from anything. So we make sure he's always in, you know, 10 minutes after we let him out. So anyway, so Friday, because he brought in the live mouse, I was like, well, so today, because it's the weekend, we're fixing the catio so he can no longer break in which should alleviate the live animals coming in because now he would have to go to the door. I'm pointing like you guys know. <laughs> He'd have to go to the door and wait for me to let him in. So if there's anything hanging in the mouth, that ain't happening. So we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to mess with his world a little bit because he didn't listen. But I know he's just being a cat, so it's totally fine. You know, I mean, like, that's just what they do. They're not, I mean, him, they're not bad cats. They just don't like to listen to you. I, yeah, I know. They started this morning, though, howling. 5.30 in the morning. Like, let me out. Let me out. So Marcus had the water bottle by the bed. Shh, stop. Wait, we're sleeping in. All right, let's get going on this haul. So, because I'm going to split it into two, you guys. So, day six and seven of my seven straight days of Dollar Tree hauls, you're getting two. By the way, does anybody want to win some calendars? At the end of this video, I will be giving away two calendars for four winners, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. On Tuesday, I'll be giving away the winners for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So today, if you would like to be entered into the drawing for the calendars, you'll just have to wait, and I'll tell you at some point in the video how to do that. But let's play a little game, since I did a little montage of Saturday songs. Can anybody come up with some more? Put them in the comments down below, if I think of any while we're singing. I, or while we're, <laughs> if I can think of any while we're doing this haul, I'll be singing them. Okay, so I'm just going to start with um, some of the drinks that I got. 
I hauled these a couple of weeks ago and I love these. So I'm super happy to find them again. All right, it's eight fluid ounces. It's $1.25. Not that that's not a, it's not a great buy. However, um, strawberry cucumber, naturally flavored. It's full of electrolytes. It's super hydration and it's got one serving of vegetables. Now in my world, that sounds healthy. Is it? I don't know, but it sounds healthy. So I'm really trying to, I keep saying this to Marcus, we're going on a liquid diet. We're going on a liquid diet, going on a liquid diet. <laughs> so I keep trying to pack more liquids in my lunch. Um, <clears throat> and so I'm trying, because it's this, at this age, I'm sorry, there's just no losing weight, but at least I can try and ma maintain. So I bought a whole case of these, which was 24 um, for me, and he'll probably drink some of them too. But what I bought for him, so there was $24 of that 180, no, more than 24, because there's 25 cents. I can't do the math. 30 bucks maybe? Okay. And then I bought him a whole case, which is only 12, of the Citrus Bang. I went into, we were at a Walgreens the other day, and I pointed it out to Mark. I said, see, there's a four-pack of Bang, same size of these. And the four-pack was $5.99. So, I mean, that's only 25 cents more than what I'm paying at the Dollar Tree. But 25 cents times 12 is 3 bucks. Right? So I'm like, hey, so I always buy him the bangs there. The V8s, I'm not sure. I, man, Sharon, look these up. I'm not sure if these are a great buy. I'm going to guess they're probably not. But V8 tends to be kind of expensive. Now, if I went to Costco and they had it, maybe not. But I feel that's a really specialty V8 thing. And maybe it's not, maybe it's not doing well. So they're, they've moved it to the Dollar Tree. Whatever the case is, I love these. If you haven't tried them, they're so refreshing and they're so good. And if you're hungover, they're better. Hung over there better. Okay, so a few more food items. I'm sort of excited about some of my food items. All right, so I bought some more of the Naked Noodles. Sharon put the price down for these the other day. So these are a good buy at the Dollar Tree. The Naked Noodles, and we made them, and Mark's put too much water in them, so we're really not sure, but I think they're good. So I bought those um, to throw, actually, okay, kiwi. We know you're naked, but it's a cute little hanky that you're wearing. Okay, so the naked noodles, um, I'm going to start now. Fall is coming. I want to go winter is coming. Anybody watch Game of Thrones? So Marcus has never seen it, by the way. I borrowed season one and two from my friend just last night so that Marcus and I can start watching Game of Thrones tomorrow because he's never seen it, and then we'll watch House of Dragons. Anybody else out there watching that? Let me know. Not that I have time for this because I don't. But we, you know what we do when we watch something? Amy's there like reading or answering comments or doing like I'm doing all my stuff on my social media that I have to do I'm so bad at Facebook you guys and Instagram and all that I'm only good on YouTube I just don't have the time I think maybe someday all right so I bought some more of those because I start um compiling soups now so when I see a good buy on soups at the Dollar Tree I'll buy them so that I have a, a good stockpile of soups for fall for our lunches fall and winter um so I got, <clears throat> sorry, it's the remnants of the cold. It's almost gone. I got these for um, for Foodie Fun Day because there was an aisle, an end cap, an aisle full, an end cap. That was... So at the end of the aisle, <laughs> there was a display of these. I mean, I've never seen so many of one thing at the Dollar Tree ever in my life. And I'm like, are those new? I don't know if they're new. I don't think they are new. I think I've tried them before. But I got them anyway, because if there's an end cap and there's that many, that must mean they're hitting every store. So I thought, well, I'll throw them out there. We'll try them for you just to let you know if they're any good. I'm sure they are. It's Lifesavers and they're gummies. But, you know, I like to try those things. When I see something new, I'm totally going to pick it up and try it. So speaking of new, we tried these on our road trip, and they were so phenomenal, so phenomenal. Um, I found them at that store on Power and Main, and they only had five packages randomly laying on some shelf somewhere. So I don't know if they came in and they all went bye-bye, but I grabbed these for our lunch. These are only like 20 calories or 40 calories for a little bag. Just a great little afternoon snack in our lunch because we take, our lunch, we take our, our lunch to work every day. Was that said correctly? I think it was. I'm not sure. I need more coffee, I think. I think I'm going to have to go clear the, the nostrils of the remnants of the cold. Okay, yeah. Kiwi. Kiwi is a whiny little thing, let me just tell you. For the first three days of my cold, it was this. <laughs> it's like, oh, it wouldn't stop. Okay, so 
Um, let's keep going. Oh, by the way, do you guys like my dress today? So this is a, it's a t-shirt. All right, that's it. Kiwi's going by, back to the door you go. She just doesn't shut up. All right, so this is a t-shirt dress, which I bought it a while ago, and um, for some reason, it keeps getting shorter. Either that, or I'm realizing that I'm too old to wear them that short, and that might be what it is. So anyway, so, but I love it, it's super comfortable. So today, I cut the collar off so that it would pull down and could be longer, and now I like it better, so I was like, anyway, that's, I tell you these things, because I know you care. All right, um, I found the Chicago brand of the caramel and cheddar popcorn. So I'm so mad because I was thinking I should have tried, I should have picked up the Creotes brand and did a comparison. So I might, I'm going to stick this in Foodie Fun Day and then I might. And I know you guys, I was talking about like, maybe I should stop Foodie Fun Day. And so many of you were like, no, because we love Foodie Fun Day. So <clears throat> I'm not going to stop it yet. It's hard to do every week. We try and do it every week, but it doesn't always happen. But the next time we do one, I'm going to call it the Marmy Show, I think. <laughs> the next time we do one, I'm going to ask you guys to share it because I'd really like to see the Dollar Tree food review one grow. It's humid in here today. Um, so, I don't know, we'll see. I tried the Kingsford baked beans. I told you that I would buy more when I found them again, so I did. I think I bought four cans to take to our property. So these are, I'm telling you, I grocery shop there. I tell you guys that all the time. And then the last food item, I think, is a new, food item that I have not seen before and I'm like okay well I gotta get him because we're gonna have to do a foodie fun day with these maybe we'll film one tomorrow because he's gonna want to try these who's muffin king or brownie king I think they're brothers <laughs> I think they're one and the same so this is some new brand all right so I found these four I don't know if there's any more so there's brownie king it's galactic brownie bites then there's vanilla blondie bites then honey cornbread muffins, but the one I really want to try is the jalapeno cornbread muffins. So is this a name brand somewhere or is it an offshoot? What is this? And can anybody tell me? So it's distributed by European Confections out of Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a product of Spain. I'm going to knock over my coffee. It's a product of Spain. All right, so that's definitely going into Foodie Fun Day, right? I'm kind of excited to try those. I mean, the jalapeno cornbread is like, <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm not giving you any brownies, so you can just stop that right now, effing up. It's not going to happen. Nope. Mm -mm, uh -uh. All right, let's see. Where do we go next? Because I just have, I threw all the bags in front of me here, and I'm just going to pull out of them. All right, so we're going to get about halfway through, then I'm going to stop, and I'm going to film the rest of it. So, okay. I, it, are these new? I say that every time I pick something up that I haven't picked up before. Um, I'm not sure. So these are clear stamps. I feel like I've seen some of them maybe before, but I no, I don't think I have. So they're stamps. And look at this one. Look at the B. Okay, come on. Like seriously, chalk paint something white and put, or black and put bees all over it just dab your paint onto it so it's a stamp because you can do that and i'll show you guys because i will do some some craft with these i don't know when so <clears throat> this is a which by the way i am absolutely going to do the um 31 days of halloween crafts the 28 days or whatever it is of fall and then the 25 days of christmas i'm gonna do it i'm gonna push the limits because when i do those I, my channel grows so I'm just going to try every Sunday to make my seven videos for the week. That's lofty. But I'm going to try. Okay, so I want to show you guys what these are. Clear stamps. They're like um, they're like rubber. I don't understand this. Somebody help me. So they don't come off of here. So you must have to cut them apart, I guess. And then this is like this. So you cut them apart. But I mean, there's no handles, so it's going to be hard. Hmm. They'd actually make really cool things just to glue on to something. You know, like, um, oh, wow. <sighs> Dang. Mm, again, I'll find them again. So take some of their um, vases and their pottery pieces or or one of their, their, um, their terracotta pots and then just glue this on and paint over it like it's a mold on top of your terracotta pot. It would be beautiful. Look at these birds. So that's probably what I'm going to do with it. I don't know how you would stamp with it because you can't, 
You know what I mean? Like, how do you, I don't, I don't know. But to use them as a mold, like on a terracotta pot would be so beautiful. I might just do that with it. Maybe I'll stick like these in my garden thing, my garden tub or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Can't close it. Here we go. Ah! That's okay. Throw it to the side, Amy. We'll deal with it later, but I do love the bee. I absolutely love the bee. Okay. So, um, all right, let me tell my power and main story. So I found the Halloween tree, which last year I made a Halloween gnome out of the tree, I think. A witch gnome. It's so humid in here today. It's not normally. It's going to be a humid day. Uh, Arizona is never humid. It is right now for some reason. Okay. So, um, so I'm checking out and there's, I can't remember the manager's name of this store. She's so nice. Dang it. Anyway, so there's a, there's a checkout girl there. Her name's Ann. So nice to everybody that comes in. Like just, just so nice. Great customer service. Talks to everybody. How's your day going? Da, 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 da. So I always come in with this truckload and I'm always perusing the store like, oh, I don't want to get in line and then have five, six, seven people behind me because I take so long to check out because my ticket is $187, right? So there was like nobody in the store and I was like, hey, Anna, I think I'm going to check out now. So she's checking me out and she sees this tree and I'm telling her, back up. So a lady comes in behind me in line after I'm like a third of the way through. But then the manager, Ann called the manager over and the manager took her. But the lady's looking at me. She goes over to the other line. She goes, so you having a Halloween party? And I went, no, no. I said, I have a YouTube channel that's all Dollar Tree, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's how that started. So then Ann's checking me out and um, she's talking. She's like, so what's the name of your YouTube channel? She's like, will you write it down for me? I said, Ann, you should watch. I'm going to shout you out. I said, I've shouted you out before for being an amazing Dollar Tree employee. I said, I'll shout you out. So I hope Ann is watching and I hope Ann will comment down below. But anyway, so Ann is just such a beautiful soul. So I'm checking out. She, she runs this and she goes, oh, we got the Halloween trees back in. I was like, yeah. And I said, they're, they're over there. But I said, they're on the top shelf. You know, sometimes they'll put something like you have to be looking for it to see it. You guys know what I'm talking about. So I ran over and the manager was over in that area and I said, can, can I buy Ann one? Is that okay? Like, is that allowed? She goes, yeah, that's totally fine. So I went over and I said, Ann, here, I'm buying one for you. And she put it, she's like, oh, thank you. So Ann, I think you're amazing and you're a wonderful Dollar Tree store employee and they're lucky to have you. All right, so that was my Power and Main Dollar Tree in Mesa, Arizona story. All righty, um, so they're back out. Now, I don't even know why I bought it because I already did my Halloween gnome with it last year and I don't really need it. But you can take them apart and use them on wreaths, which is really cool. But I don't even like them. <laughs> something wrong in the head right here. But I'll figure something out. Okay, <clears throat> so this is huge. What, did, what is this and where did it come from? I've gotten the ones that are this size and the ones that are this size. This is huge for $1.25. So I got it because I think I'm going to put... Look, sticker people. Sticker... I think I'm going to put um, that my uh, M&M, &M, Mickey gave me a bunch of the twig things, stump things that you do use, you know, for like pumpkins and whatnot. So I think I'm actually going to put those in here because I have a lot of them. I don't know. I'll put something in there, but it's definitely for my craft area. Okay. How do you guys want to win some calendars today? Because today is Saturday. I'm giving away a full set to one lucky winner. Full set of the calendars. So, um, actually it's not a full set. I think it's five, there's six, but I, the one I don't have, or is it four? Okay, whatever. It's a full set of what I have. How about that? But it's the ones you want. So there's that. So I think the way that we do that yesterday, I had you take, talk about stickers, which was hysterical. Um, so today, because I just talked about my favorite store in Power and Main in Mesa, Arizona, will you all please list your favorite Dollar Tree store that you go to? Where is it? And maybe shout out a favorite employee that you have there. Because I don't, Dollar Tree doesn't watch my channel. Maybe someday they will, but they don't. But maybe you could tell your people at your Dollar Tree that you mentioned them on a YouTube channel. So maybe go down below and tell me who is your favorite, which Dollar Tree store is your favorite and who's your favorite Dollar Tree employee. And thank you, Dollar Tree, for all the wonderful, wonderful buys that you bring us. Okay. I was checking out and I found these. Um, the Energizer, this is a good buy. The Energizer batteries. So the thing is, they always have AAA. Well, not always, but usually. And then all of a sudden, I was like, wait, that's double A's. So perhaps some double A's. 
for our battery stash because you should always have a good battery stash. God forbid the lights go out or something like that. And you need flashlights, batteries. Okay, so <clears throat> I hauled these the other day because Minnesota Mickey gave me some and then I walked into my Dollar Tree and there they were and I love these. I'm just in love with these and I just feel like there's so many things. But I wanted, I didn't tell you guys the other day, I wanted to tell you is that, you know, these are like an off-white. Perfect if you were doing a wedding. Ooh, find these. These would be beautiful for that. But you can take food dye, dilute it, and dip these in it and dye these super easily and make them be whatever color you want. Also great for a wedding, like if you had a, flor a floral color. So then the reeds would do the same thing. If you soak them in colored food dyed water, they will, they'll, they'll pick up that color. So you could literally dye this whole thing any color that you wanted. Um, not super, I mean, red is obviously going to show up the most, but you'll get a diluted color, but still you're going to, you're going to be able to dye them any color that you want. Okay. So I went a little crazy on signs. Why? I don't, there's another one of these. I don't know why I went crazy on signs, but I really did. So let's start with, um, start with the Halloween ones. The sign I did yesterday, I think came out really cute. And, <clears throat> um, if you didn't watch yesterday's haul, I did a sign at, at easy, easy craft at the end. But I kept saying bugs and kisses. And yesterday, after I've done videoing and everything, I looked at it and it says bugs and hisses. In case you don't know what I'm talking about. Wait, one second. These are the, these are the wood signs that they make. So I put three of them together. I just sanded and then put the three together. I think this is super cute, super cute. And it's, but it says, I was saying bugs and kisses, but it's bugs and hisses. Happy Halloween, the witch is in, bugs and hisses. Okay, so that, I don't. I just had to tell you that I recognized. I didn't read it right. Okay, so now these are not the wood signs. So really, when you consider it, those are a much better buy at dollar twenty-five than these flimsy things are. But um, but they're still cool, and they make a great base for lots of things. So I really liked what they've done with the coloring. So this is that, and I have quite a few things I kind of want to do in this coloring. So. Um, I'm just loving like the Buffalo check on this. Everybody's going to use it for Christmas. I already know it. You're going to buy it. You're going to reuse it. It's going to be Christmas because it's Buffalo check. I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it Halloween. And, um, this one has like the bats on the side. This one has the skulls and skulls and candles and cauldrons. It looks like on the side of it. Okay. So super cute. But again, building the three of these together, it makes a super cute, more substantial piece. So I like this trick or treat. Tis the season to be spooking and happy hunting. Um, I mean, these are great just for putting around on, on different things. They're great for topping a window. I don't have a ledge on this window, but if I did like just to put them on top of a window, they're a cute little decoration. So they're great just the way they are. I might use them that way. I don't know. Hmm. I, have a, I, have, I have a laundry basket down here just for the Halloween stuff. Like, Halloween in there because I've got to go so this should go in there I've got to go through I've already gone through my Halloween stuff but I've got to get it all organized and then what I do is I go out there with Dollar Tree bags like these and I start making um craft bundles so like here's a craft here's a craft here I have to have 31 of them so I'm gonna go out there and start like ching, ching, ching. at first I'll do seven for the first week and then things start to flow and then pretty soon I have I have all I need and more. Usually I end up with more than um, I need. Okay, moving on. Same signs, different theme. <laughs> so I think these are really cute. They're the Day of the Dead. Like I said, the, um, the, uh, where'd my tins go? I just had them here. Here they are. The tins would be super cute on this as a topper, right? Um, but because I'm doing my whole backyard in pirate stuff and skulls and piratey stuff, Day of the Dead, really, de los, however we say it in Spanish, makes really, really, really good sense. And so, I mean, makes, not sense. These just work well. How about that? Because skulls are usually kind of boring color-wise. So the Day of the Dead is so colorful. That's why I like it. I will, I'm going to show you guys a video. Don't worry when I finish up out there because I added a piece of furniture and I'll go out there and show you guys everything. All right. So these are twofold. I think I'm going to end up using them outside and then I'll probably use them for some Halloween craft or something. Another great idea for these is just to, by the way, I love the sides on this one. Like look, see you know, this one. 
It's really perfect for putting those three on. Look at that. Maybe this is my craft today. It could be. See? It's just cool looking, isn't it? Not even necessarily Halloween. I just love, I love the colors on this and everything. Okay. Enough with the skulls, Amy. Move along. Okay, so Day of the Dead, love these. Also, check out the side on that one. That's so beautiful. I feel like you could buy, <clears throat> if you had more than one, you could make a really cool box if this pattern was, you know, if I had two of the same. I don't. Mm. So, out of those, you could make a really cool boho box. All right, let's see. Um, I'm almost done and I'm going to split off and do my second half haul for you guys for tomorrow. I found these and I'm like, yes. I feel like I do that a lot though. Yes. <laughs> Look what I found. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to have to open them, which is fine because I'm going to use them for, I mean, they're Halloween. So let's just open, I'm going to open these so I can show you. They're new Halloween ribbons and I'm like, oh, <laughs> they're so cool. There's so, wait, hold on. Oh, no, I went, ripped a piece off. Dang, bummer. That's okay. Um, Let's see, I wanna get, I think I got them all. I'm pretty sure I got them all. So, I, I'll open them all. Anyway, Dollar Tree stepping up their game. Let me just say that. So, I think I got them all. Um, I'm, I don't know, but I got what they had. So, let's just go with that. All right, so check these out. These are like, trim ribbons is what i would call them but they I mean they're ribbons look at the skulls Ugh. this one is my favorite check out the purple spiders then there's the black straight spiders just not i'm not no political statement there i'm just saying it's just straight spiders not that they're straight spiders just it, okay don't yell at me so then and then look at the orange the pumpkins that's upside down sorry Oh, so, so look at this. This is so pirate. If I had had this, I would have used it for my wedding. The skull with the crossbones. Can you guys see it? I don't know if they're coming across real well. And then the final one is the black spider webs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm in love with these. I think I only bought one each. Why? I don't know. Because that's what I do. Cause I'm like, I don't need any more than that. Oh, I did buy two of the purple though because I absolutely loved the purple one. So I did get two of that one. All right, I think that's it. We're gonna stop this haul. And um, you guys, so don't forget to get a full set of calendars to be entered in for that drawing, which I will draw for those on Tuesday. You must say what your favorite Dollar Tree is and mention a favorite Dollar Tree employee if you happen to have one and then tell them about it. Tell them that you, you mentioned them on a YouTube video could help me grow too who knows okay and then um right now we're gonna pause because i'm gonna draw some winners from tuesday wednesday and thursday okay so tuesday's winner who had to say what their favorite item that i hauled that day so today is paula jeffries and she said hello i mean did a great job on your outdoor piece i really like the cat treats so paula dress breeze you won tuesdays i'll be sending you two calendars it's gonna be surprised which ones you get if I just said that was Tuesday's winner, I meant that was Monday's winner. That was day number one. So now Tuesday's winner, which was day number two, we're going to start the drawing. And on Tuesday, you had to say what your favorite bathroom book was. Because, you know, that's like, yeah. Oh, this person didn't say that. Mm, Got to pick another winner. Let's see who did it here. Um, <laughs> hold on. I have to see if they... Oh, yep, they did. Okay, so this is Kathy... Papora, oh, she's so sweet. She's like, how do you look so beautiful in the morning? Mm. My fave bathroom book is Reader's Digest, not really a book, but lots of stories. Yes. Somebody also said um, Soup for the Soul, which I used the entire time. I think my kids were growing up. I had those in the bathroom. Anyway, and I would find ones for like them. Okay, so uh, my fave, anyway, thank you for the hauls. I know it's a lot of work to do so many. Love the flowers. Don't forget to tell us about the craft booth. Oh, the craft booth. Yeah, I'm not sure how that's going to go. Okay, so, Kathy, you won for day number two. So the craft booth is, um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's a lot of work, and I'm not sure it's worth it for me. I might be better off just to donate my crafts. So I'm still giving it a little bit of time, but we'll see. All right, let's go and see who the winner for day number three is. Okay, so day number three was, what would you do with the little silver box? Which, by the way, you guys gave me, like, all kinds of really good ideas. 
one of the last ones was that thought it looked like an acorn and you know, I was like, it does kind of. Mm. Anyway, so lots of really good ideas. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but uh, we'll probably, in the end, I think I'm gonna make it a fall decoration for a tear tray because I do wanna do a, tier, a fall tear tray. Okay, so the winner is, oh, wait. That's so weird because I just said this and then that's who the winner is. It's Michelle Harley. So Michelle said, okay, okay song. I know. I don't know. It was a Wednesday song. That was Johnny Cash who sang that song. Buy your car and I got my car. I bought my car on a Wednesday. It's an oldie. Okay, so, <clears throat> but it was the only Wednesday song that I could even possibly try to sing. Great haul. Love those picture frames and your DIY. That was when I did the witch silhouette, which is, I love that one. It's sitting on my um, table in the living room. Okay. So I bought those little arrows to make Christmas decoration signs. Good idea. And the vase does look like a gourd. Great idea. I would use that little tin. Oh, no, it's not the same one. She said the vase did. She goes, I would use that little tin in my laundry room to hold all my husband doodads that he leaves in his pockets. And I was like, that's a good idea too. But it's normally my doodads in the pockets, not Marcus's. Okay, so Michelle, you win for Wednesday. And that was day number three. So let's see who wins for the, for the last day that I'm drawing today. It would be Thursday. Let's see. Okay, so Thursdays was I peeled off that sticker off the paint can thing, pouring thing. And I was like, that was that's how you entered was to tell me like what your issue was with stickers or you have to take them off. And Minnesota Mickey said she leaves them on everything. Girl, girl, stop that. Take them off. Okay, so let's see. So the first person I drew... Didn't say anything about stickers, so got to have another one. <clears throat> Who is it? Oh, oh yeah, so that was also the day that Scarlet was on, and you guys were so sweet about um, telling Scarlet that, you know, anyway, she's, I think I'm going to do, somebody said one the other day, it was Scarlet's, oh, I'm going to have to go back and read him, because you guys came up with some good ideas to call a little Scarlet um, time if I threw some of her videos in every now and again. Okay, so P. Wiles, 2003. She said, love that Scarlett shared the creams. Good to know. Thank you, Scarlett, for that. Oh, by the way, awesome haul. DT stickers? I do like the sound of them coming off easy, but the hard ones, not so much. I have to take stickers and tags off things I get from my family because they do not take off the stickers or tags. Go figure. Yes. I was that person that took them off before every present before I wrapped it. Uh. Okay, so that's, that's it. Let's see. Let's go over the winners. I have a planner. It's, it's happened. It happened. We've got to plan my life. I just can't keep things organized enough to, you know, like. Evingham, you're going to make the planner. Don't worry. I have to do things like change your hat. Like we're going to have to Halloween you up for the, yeah, for the 31 days of Halloween. Actually, I already have it out to put on you. Okay. All right. So planner. I've got to start writing things down on any, and it used to be like a spiral notebook. That's not doing it anymore. So the planner is out. All right. So Monday, it was Paula Jeffries. Tuesday, it was Kathy Perfora. Wednesday was Michelle Harley. And Thursday was P. Wiles. I think it's Pat, right? Patricia, Pat, Patricia, I think. So anyway, you guys, make sure that you message me on Facebook Messenger and give me your address. Some of you in my already have it, but do it anyway, because I'm actually starting a address book just for my besties. So I'm going to try and find all the addresses that I have piled in like the YouTube thing. <laughs> I need a big address book, I believe. <clears throat> and start putting them in there. Sorry. <clears throat> Alphabetically. Okay, so this is probably been a longer video than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. I'm going to stop now and I'm actually going to film the second half of this haul. So stick around for that. No, don't, I mean, come back tomorrow for that. Wow. Happy Saturday, everybody. Did you think of any more Saturday songs? Because right now, I can't think of a one. Isn't that funny? I, the ones I sang were about it. Okay, so everybody have a great day, great week, a great life. Don't forget to join today. What did I say you had to do? Joy. I can't remember. Hmm. I'm going to have to rewatch and reinsert re it right here because I can't remember what I told you guys to do. It was something. It was something to do with something. I don't remember what it was, but it was something. So don't forget to do that. This right here. Okay, so how dumb was that? I can't believe I didn't remember it. So to be entered in to win a full set of the calendars, mention your favorite Dollar Tree store and your favorite Dollar Tree employee. Yeah, okay, that's easy. Now let's end this video. That's what you do to enter the drawing and I'm gonna give away a full set of calendars, okay. I interrupt the ending of this video 
because I forgot to do a crowd. <laughs> Gosh, I'm like just a mess this morning. All right. So right now, let's go do a craft. And it's from an item that was part of this haul, but I didn't haul it in the first half. So mm, still part of the haul, but you haven't seen it yet. So ready? I'm gonna show you my craft. Craft is so easy. So this is this little candy holder that they sell there, but we're just gonna embellish it a little bit. So this is Death by Candy, which is also some of the little dishes that they sell there. So I'm gonna put this in here but i want to raise it up slightly so that you um so that the dish instead of having it be in inside oh no maybe that's okay no i want to raise it up slightly so that you you can see the words death by candy when it's sitting on there and then i have um little spiders that are going to be kind of crawling out all over it like it's a mama spider having all its little spiders so we're just going to use hot glue to do everything. candy. I wish I had candy to fill up in it and I don't, but it would be so cute just to fill it with like, um, you know, some white gumballs or black, I mean, um, white gumballs, black gumballs or black licorice or something. It'd be super cute in there. And I should have thought of that when I bought it. Okay. So this is a candy dish. This spite, this tarantula is just a candy dish, but then these are their other candy dishes. And so I took one of the puzzle pieces, dark square, you know, the puzzle pieces, um, that's the big square cubes. But you can't use them all as beads because they have funky directions drilled in them. So I used one of the darker ones so you really, so it blended in. And then, um, see that in there? We see it. And then at first I had one of those packages of the, of the spider rings. And then I decided, no, I need them all to be the same color. So I took some of the orange ones that I had somewhere else. And I just sort of glued them around like a bunch of little baby spiders coming off of the mama all over the candy jar, death by candy. Anyway, do you guys like this? I think it's cute. I wish I had candy to fill in it for you. Even orange candy would be cute, but I don't. So there it is, death by candy, a use for this and on the spider. And I purposely didn't embellish anything up here because it was just the spiders. Although, although, wow, should have thought of this. Give me 2.2 seconds. Not that one. I gotta find the right one. It's this one. Mm, I might have to do, I don't know. But you could do this, right? I could put that new, um, that new ribbon all over it. Oh, I could have used something I hauled. Okay, but I didn't. That's okay. You guys like this, right? Super cute. Death by candy. Okay. Now let's end the video. Time to go. So guys, have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree. Evingham, say goodbye to the besties. <laughs> goodbye, besties. That was very good. He's getting very good. Have you guys noticed? All right. So now you're going to see me right back here looking exactly the same tomorrow, doing the haul number seven of my seven straight days of Dollar Tree hauls. So come back tomorrow. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not a subscriber or at least consider it. Or don't walk away and don't come back. I mean, whatever makes you happy. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching.